All right, boys, one of the main questions I get the first week of man is, what are your passing settings? Let's talk about it. All right, boys, there's a new feature in Madden this year, this free form passing, more pass leads, more control over the passes. And as a person that passes all the time, I never like to run. So it's definitely an interesting thing for me. It's hard to change from classic. We've been playing Madden, me, myself, for over 20 years. So classic passing is kind of what we know. So it was hard to change from that. But I feel like overall, they made classic kind of weak. The pass leads on classic are not as good as they used to be. Kind of forcing you to use this new mechanic. It's a big part of the game. It's one of the new features in the game. So they're going to try to force you to use it. So they're, I don't want to say they're nerfed classic passing, but they nerf classic passing in order for you to use this. Now, there's tons of different options on this free form passing. So what it is technically is you get your left stick will control this cursor that moves where you put the ball. And depending on your settings, that this determines how far you can put this cursor. You could put the cursor out of bounds. You can put the cursor 30 feet away. You can put the cursor three feet away. Just depends on what your settings are and what you want to do with passes. And for me, I'm going to go over what I like and the transition to this. As a classic passer who started the first couple days just on classic, I have now transformed into somebody using Freeform. And I'll tell you guys my settings right now. Now, this is what I do. I like to go offense only here. I don't know if you guys ever use this feature, but there's no defense here. We're going to rock with the Eagles right here. And the best thing about this game is that you can actually change these settings in the game. Or in the practice so you can go ahead and change a bunch of things whatever you may like Yay. on the field so basically what i have now we'll go to coach options settings game options skill based passing now you can do plat passing and accuracy uh classic i don't i don't do that anymore no more classic right now i'm just on placement i'm just on placement placement enables control over the placement of the pass within the target area the target area is the bigger is this gray circle under the feet of the player when you pass the ball and it has finer control over the pass strength placement and accuracy enables control over the placement of the pass within the target area and finer control over the pass strength and accuracy i mean it looks like they just said the same thing it's literally the same sentence and i you know but like I said, I'm rocking just placement, boys. Just placement near. Now, near, far, no max. See, no max. Well, you can put the thing out of bounds anywhere. See, it's just not reasonable, I don't think. And, and for me, if you guys want to start using this, I would start with near. So it keeps your reticle or where you're aiming. It can't go too far away from the player. So for me, I do that. Uh, and because I'm on near, you can change this, man. You can put it all the way up to 20. Now, freeform is how fast it moves within that. So, but since you're on near, you're only going to go to one side or the other. It's not going to move too far outside of the circle. So for me, speed wasn't that big a deal because I have sub because I put it on near. That's going to give me what that's going to do is going to give me a, a barrier that I can't cross anyway. So you know, then you're going to hold the left trigger when you pass. So you want to hold the left trigger when you pass, and that way you can move the reticle. And what I did there on that pass was I held right to the right, hold left trigger, left stick to the right, and you see where the ball goes in that gray circle. That gray circle is your area, and because I'm on near, it's not going to go too far. You know, I don't got to be perfect with it. I can just put it there. Now, if we put it on far, which I've tried, and you guys can mess with it as well, coaching, Oh, no, not depth chart. Coaching. Oh, no, it's options, settings, game options. and put it on far. Now we're going to get some overdoes here. If I do the same thing, look where the ball is. Because now I have a far area, max distance. So now you, if you want to do that, you got to stop halfway and try to get it perfect. Now, I'm a gamer. I'm a pro gamer, esports champion. I can't stop it that fast, that little. I just, you know, it's just like, it's just far to me. It's just not realistic. You might be able to do some better passes, some more outrageous things, but you're going to mess up more than you're going to make outrageous passes. And the game isn't really about making outrageous passes. I don't think so, man. When people are open, they're open. So for me, I like not, let's even try no max. There's no max. And this is the one that's probably going to like, yeah. 
you know that's just ridiculous you know so for me I like near now we could go here we could do no no max right and go to one one sensitivity let's see what we can do with that you know a little bit further but it doesn't you see the little circle didn't even move where I wanted it to move you know it didn't even go where I like essentially where I wanted it that's as far as I could get it so to me what's the point of being on that when you can just be on near I really think my best options what I've been using is near near and about halfway sensitivity we'll go 12 out of 20 you know so this way boom beautiful pass right side of the circle exactly what I wanted near middle sensitivity if I want to go to the back pylon we can go to the back you know and the biggest thing with this ability is you can actually get some decent touch passes to the end of the target area see where it went to the end of the target area so he had to, he never stopped his stride if you don't use this or you use classic passing it goes kind of more to the middle of the area so he might have to slow down and you might get might lose some of that separation you have on a db so the main reason you want to use this ability is for lob passes as far as they can possibly go so that's what i like that's what i've been using is near so it kind of has a block to where you can put it you can't go too far you're not going to get any overthrows you're not going to miss any throws you may not get the most outrageous pass leads but for me i don't think you need crazy pass leads you really don't so for me i like near and i like middle sensitivity i might keep messing with it i'll keep you guys updated tune into the streams tune into the youtube videos web updates but i keep getting this question what's your passing settings that's what i've been using near and middle sensitivity if you're on classic try this out use the practice only mode it's really helpful man because you have no pass rush you can fine tune things you can find different passes you can throw definitely a good addition but you got to get used to it don't be stubborn don't be stuck on classic go out there i've thrown over 100 interceptions already in head-to-head -head games so if i'm throwing 100 it's no problem with you guys throwing 100 because you know, we're all learning the game now the game's been out technically for like four days so if you're behind you don't be afraid to throw interceptions man at the end of the day they're getting you better. So, like I said, tune in. Let me know what sensitivity you guys use. What are your settings? Boom. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Any other tips you guys need? Anything else you want to know? Uh, frequently asked questions. This is probably the number one that I had. So, thank you guys. Please hit like, comment, all those things if you enjoy this type of video.